Good evening. The West Midlands is fast becoming the first port of call for Chinese investors after several high-profile takeovers, and exports are on the way up. This is the only region in the country to sell more goods to China than it imports. In the second quarter of this year, China overtook America as the biggest export market for the West Midlands. Fourteen percent of our exports went to China, and that was worth about a billion pounds. Well, our business correspondent Peter Plisner has been investigating the growing importance of the Chinese connection. The London Taxi Company, the most recent Midlands example of a Chinese takeover. The old LTI went bust last year, but it was bought by Chinese car firm Geely. Even before the collapse, the two firms worked together and had set up a production line in Shanghai. What were the big issues that you discovered? Wei Li works at that factory. He's over here on a mission to improve quality. It is very important because the two factories produce exactly the same product. So when we offer that product to the customer, the standard should be the same. And improving standards also means sending workers from here over to China. Roy Clark and Yogan Kravitz have already been to Shanghai. Very enthusiastic to work. They want to learn as much as they can. They're very, very interested in. How we work. They were over the moon when we actually demonstrated how we do things in the UK and proved a solution to their problems. They were very, very interested. The collapse here at Longbridge of MG Rover eight years ago provides one of the most famous examples of the Chinese investing in a UK firm. Although car production here is on a much smaller scale now, research and development is much bigger. Here, there are 300 engineers designing cars for a global market. There's the six, the three in the UK. But Carl Gotham is one of MG's lead designers. He admits that time differences between the UK and China don't make things easy. There's a, generally a window in the morning where we、uh, where we hold video conferences or telephone calls to basically exchange what's happened in in the day in China,、um, and then the start of our working day. In an ideal world, obviously, there's there's、uh, there's almost a 24-hour working day where we do our Time and then China、uh, working effectively through the UK nights. Down the road, another Chinese investment. NVC is one of China's biggest lighting manufacturers. It's come here to improve its global reach. We have the ambition to be a globally known lighting brand. Now, if we're going to do that, we've got to have a presence in all the main markets of the world. Europe is potentially one of the biggest markets in the world, and the UK is a good stepping stone, a good bridgehead. For getting into the European market, so are more Chinese firms expected to invest here? Experts say yes. I think the environment here, investment environment for the Chinese companies, is still very good.、Uh, they liked so many things that we have here, and as long as we keep that going,、uh, that we should actually see more. And、back at London taxis, that's already happening. Its new Chinese owners are already looking to expand production and move to a new factory. And Peter is at the lighting company NVC now. So, Peter, why are we doing better than other regions in exporting to China? Well, I think、uh, Mary can be summarised in three words:、uh, Jaguar, Land Rover. A growth、uh, to China has been phenomenal for the company. Just last month, sales were up 46 percent. Looking at、uh, 2012, up 74 percent. But of course, more goods are being exported to China because more goods are being made here instead of being. Outsourced to China. In fact, at the London Taxi Company, there is one particular part that、uh, used to be made in China and brought to the UK. Now it's being made in the UK and、uh, sent to China. And the Chinese are investing huge amounts in Africa and South America.、But、when it comes to the UK, what's attracting them to this region in particular? Well, I think it's、uh, design and technology. Look at、uh, the case of the、uh, collapsed van maker LDV, which、uh, collapsed about、uh, three years ago. Now,、uh, what happened there was equipment was taken abroad, but they were interested mainly in a modern van design, which LDV had, and they were interested in uh, uh, electric propulsion, and that's what I think attracted them to a, a sort of a Chinese buyer. Peter, is there a danger that we could see more of、uh, what's often known as the lift and shift, where Chinese investment actually results in operations being moved wholesale to China? Well, of course, we saw it、uh, with MG Rover.、Uh, a lot of equipment went to, to China. They're now making cars that were made in Longbridge in China. Of course,、uh, we saw it with LDV. A modern van is now being made in China. So we have seen it, but I don't think we're seeing it too much because、uh, I think now we're seeing. 
wholesale investment from China and they've got a lot of money and they want to invest it here. Good news. Peter Blisner, thank you.